Hey there guys, today I'm going to be explaining to you what a milk dud is and also how to make them. So what a milk dud is, using typically a elk master, taking one of these and soaking it in milk for usually about 24 hours and then pressing them down with a press tool or a vise for usually about 24 hours and then you install them and shape them. Now for the reason in doing this is to help your tips perform better. So a non-laminated tip like an elk master, if you install them just as is, it is okay. But over time, it will start to mushroom and it will glaze over faster and it requires more maintenance. So you will be reshaping your tip often. So what people started doing was taking elk master tips and soaking them in milk. So why did people start doing this with milk? Well, because it does contain casein, which is a protein. And what that does to the tip is the tip absorbs the casein and it helps to bond the fibers within the tip, making it stronger, making it hold better. And that helps the tip to retain its form and overall shape. So no mushrooming and less glazing. And that means less maintenance in the tip. So when I first found out about the milk dead, I was actually looking into laminated tips. Laminated tips require way less maintenance than a non-laminated tip like here in the Elk Master. You don't need to press these, they are ready to be installed. Now these tips don't come cheap, they're pretty pricey. So when I was looking into these, somebody did mention Elk Master milk duds and how they perform just as good if not better than laminated tips. So I started my research and how to make them. And then you would take it out and you would want to press it down somehow. Some people like to use a hammer. Some people like to use a vise. I went ahead and bought one of these press tools. I actually got this one off of Wish and it was about 14 bucks or something like that. Pretty cheap and I'm actually pretty impressed by this tool. It is very, very sturdy. It's tough and it presses my tips just fine. And what I really like is it has this dome shape, just like an Elk Master does. This tool was meant for Elk Masters. So anyways, I've actually taken measurements as well. This is a dry, non-soaked tip. I did kind of squish it there for a bit earlier. But typically you're gonna be running into measurements like this. I measured most of these tips here to be right around 5.8 to about 6.2 millimeters. Elk Masters, they are pretty non-consistent with their size. For example here, this is one of the smaller ones, the smallest ones in the package that I ordered. This is measuring at 5.3. This is one of the thicker ones that I found in the bag. This one measures at 6.1. So you can see there with the naked eye, they are both different sizes. Okay guys, I'm going to show you very briefly and quickly on how to make your own milk duds. Okay, first things first, you want to take a measurement of your Elk Master before you soak it. So let's say you measure it at six millimeters. Write that number down and then you soak your tip in milk for 24 hours. After soaking the tip, take another measurement. Now let's say it expanded up to 9.5 millimeters. The thread pitch on this press tool is exactly one millimeter. So now what I would like to do is press this tip. What you would like to do is hold one side with one arm and the other arm, you would like to let it drop until it stops on its own, just like that. Now you can already see that I made some markings. That there is your starting point. With one turn, we would get one millimeter. You would turn the tool three and a half revolutions of the press tool to get it back to 6.0 millimeters. But from my experience, you will get some spring back. And I measured the spring back to be at right around 0.5 millimeters. So instead of giving it three and a half turns, you would give it four full turns. That should get you back to 5.5 millimeters. And then your spring back, because there's a little bit moisture still in there, it will spring back about a half a millimeter. 
so that'll get you close back to six millimeters. Depends on what you play with, whether you play with a, a soft, a medium soft, a medium. That is really going to depend on how much you press your tip. Hopefully this gives you a really good understanding on how to do this. I really found nothing on the internet on how to do this. I kind of just experimented on my own. And the tip that I am using now, it is playing just fine for me. It does its job. It's not mushrooming. I barely have to do any maintenance to it. So I really hope I laid down a template here for you guys. If you want to try this, it's actually very easy. It's a little bit time consuming, but it's very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Hopefully you find your own recipe. If you do, share it with me, share it with others. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching. Okay guys, I just wanted to go over a few more things here that I have forgot to mention. One of the first things you're probably going to ask me is do you really need a press tool like this? The answer is no, but I will say that if you want more consistent results, I suggest that you getting this tool. Another thing is, after soaking your tips, I really suggest that you leave them pressed in for two to three days. Now that just gives it more time to dry out. Another thing is that you won't really need these at all. I use this just to measure my threads to give me a better understanding of how much depth of press do I get per revolution in my press tool.